Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. Today it is all about the Mitsubishis as we are going to, well, have a field of them racing. Apparently we've got a lot of the Evo 6s on our team, <laughs> it's turned out. Didn't know what people were driving, didn't know we were quite going to end up with that, but well, there we go. Um, we've got a series of races here, some on dirt, some on tarmac, some cross country, and I'm hoping, well, I'm hoping my Evo 6 is going to be good. Uh, there is a slight downside, it's based upon the car that ran very fast on the hill climb stage. I've swapped the tyres over to rally tyres and, well, given a little bit more power because I've got the PI to. I might have forgotten to change the suspension over and only realised just as we were about to start. So it is still on race suspension, which isn't great when it comes to, well, the, the dirt stuff. Matter Galant is going to have to accelerate me here. Of course, the Evo 6 is a beast when it comes to the corners. This much we know. We've seen how effective it can be uh, when we get to the twisty stuff. The concern for the car is if the tracks are faster, a bit like this one, really, it might struggle. We certainly won't have the power of some of the machines that are running here. At the moment, it looks like an Evo 8 or 9 at the front. 10 is in second, followed by three of the 6s. And then there was a Galant, the first of the non-Evos. There are, I think, one of each of the non-Evos in this field. I spotted a Galant, there's an Eclipse, and I think there is a, someone's trying a GTO. GTO is a car that I love, and a car that I've never got working. It doesn't tend to work very well, basically, in any Forza game. It just picks up so much PI uh, so quickly that it makes it very, very difficult to do much with. We have lost out to the Eclipse. This is probably not the best circuit for my <laughs> Evo 6 here. Uh, I'm hoping it'll come good later on. I could really do with finding a way back past... I need to get past the Eclipse, really, and this is the problem I might have here. If the Eclipse has got me in terms of straight line speed, I might actually struggle to repass that car here. Um, there's a couple of braking zones. I really can't afford to hemorrhage any more positions to Blue Team. This is where we can dive up the inside, and we do get the pass done. The Eclipse is going to fight back on the exit. It's very, very close in terms of points here. It's very close indeed. We're going to run wide. Clonk the wall ever so slightly through all of that, which is not ideal, but we have survived. We've skated out the other side. The Galant is... I'm trying to hold off the hordes of non-Evos pretty much. Oh, bad. Oh, that's where the suspension might actually get me in trouble. I'm very sorry, Eclipse. Uh, I had little control over where I was going from that one. I've got Bunts out wide anyway. Ah, uh, we cannot afford to let both of them. I think the other Evo 6, if I could be, if I was left alone for long enough, I could probably catch up to the other Evo 6, but I haven't got the, I haven't got the space to do that. Right, we've rounded up one of them. Uh, can I get another? Unfortunately, it looks, oh, we, we might be able to get it. We might get the win. This is apparently uh, almost my, I say almost my fight, my fight for, for red team here. If we can get our, if I can slow these guys down and get our GTO up into this, that would be helpful. GTO is struggling. GTO will probably be faster on tarmac stuff, maybe. Don't really know. We'll have to wait and see here. Oh, it's only 50 points in it. Can I've got a couple of laps. Could I chase down that fourth place car? It'll be very, very similarly built to mine, only probably with proper suspension. So it won't hate those jumps as much as uh, my car currently is, although he's wide. Here we go. We're hunting. We're hunting now. I mean, we need... We need our GTO not to lose a place, if at all possible, uh, and I need to get an overtake here. I mean, if one of our cars could get up to the front, one of our cars has got up to the front, that would also be good news for us. I'm trying to be brave through some of these corners. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a close adventure. Certainly on the dirt, this is going to be a hell of a close adventure. Yeah, our GTO has lost another place. However, uh, the GTO has lost one. I don't think Ninetales is going to be able to catch anybody else. Because um, Niters have to go through that group and then catch up to me to score any more points for blue team. It's whether I can hunt down. Uh, we have caught it. We've got an Evo 6 that's working a bit better here. Not as good as the leaders. No. Uh, my, my, my stupid decision with the race suspension uh, will probably cost me that chance. Um, you can see how, how much the back of my car bounces around on all of these bumps compared to the car ahead that we see from the right height. That is on rally suspension. We've got the better run, though. Here we go. To the inside. We will. To the inside of one corner, but the outside for the next, but we will be on the inside here. We are clear just to move up. I don't know the spotter with that one, but we are clear. We have got it done. Right. 
We can't afford to lose any more positions because it's going to be bloody close. It's going to be bloody close indeed uh, down here. We pulled away from it. Once we stop fighting with the Eclipse, we could run clear. That was costing us. Uh, don't hit the tractor. We have seen cars in the tractor. We've seen plenty of cars in the fence there. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll just give it a little scrape. It's fine. Oh, no! We'll, oh, Blakey, get going, get going, get going. You, oh, I think Blakey's missed a checkpoint and that's us done. No! <laughs> Oh no, it was looking so good for us, it was looking so good for us. Missed checkpoint, that's just what you can't afford to do. Just one, one little mistake, one little mistake from one of our Evo 6s. Missed a checkpoint and plummets down to 8th place. All of those points gone. Blue team, snatch victory at the end. I mean, good news is we looked pretty fast up until that point. Bad news, we lost the round. Well, we could do with a win here, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> this is, again, I'm not sure what my car's going to make of here, actually. It's, this is a fast-flowing circuit, but there is some slower bits. He's not really going to get up to much in the way of top speed, necessarily, around here. But you do need to be able to carry plenty of speed around some of these corners. Fingers crossed, the six will be good. We can come, we can come better in this one. Uh, no bumps, horribleness to be worrying about, uh, which is nice. If we can get a good start here. That would be, that would be good. Uh, we are off the line about even with everybody a little faster than the car, the blue team car ahead. Uh, can we go for a little bit of? Nope. Uh, apparently, bump drafting is not a thing that works on here. Uh, GTO. Ooh. It was a little bit of a nudge. Hey, we kissed the fence on the way through there. So the GTO is immensely fast down the straights. The GTO is immensely quick down those straights, uh, which is something we're going to have to watch out for. Thankfully, the GTO is on our team. And if the GTO wants to come soaring past, once we get on here... Yeah, here it comes. Got the speed of that thing. So I am slower than just about everything down the straights. The GTO is monstering its way towards us. Go for it. Go for it. I'm not going to try and slow you down. There's no point in that one. There is no point in that one whatsoever. Uh, Nightails without wide in the rocks. Oh, this is going to end badly for us. Oh, uh, no. Ended very well for us. <laughs> About four cars trying to get into a teeny tiny bit of tarmac. We made it stick. Oh, we're going to get a nudge. Just got pushed a tiny bit wide. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, conversion from full tarmac car to the rally car. Well, I say that. The other the other Evos are also good. I'm not sure my one is quite as, as good as some of the other cars we have here. Of course, the downside I have with building it, well, in the way that I have, this is still oh, almost all handling, which is, means it is going to struggle in terms of straight line speed. We always knew that was likely to be the case. Uh, we have got, at least we've got a red car to the lead. We might end up losing second with our brightly coloured, I can't think of a better word to it, or TVR coloured uh, Evo 6, although that's just fought its way to the front as well. Now, what can we do? Where is, what side is the GTO going to go? We'll give that space. There's no point fighting that. There is zero point in fighting that. That will have so much more speed than I uh, around this circuit. We'll just give it some space to go, and then it might be able to go catch up to this lead group and, and cause them some grief almost. There's a lot of fighting going on with these cars. I'm surprised. I'm glad to see the GTO going well. Don't get me wrong. Surprised to see it going well, but if there was going to be a circuit, this is the sort of place that it would like. I can live with it around the outside. Here we go. To the inside, maybe. And then it's just... There goes the acceleration. Blue have got to the lead. The GTO is all... <laughs> I mean, that's some bravery. I'll give you that. That is a hell of a large amount of bravery for that, although you've hit the wall and taken out your own team. God damn it. Well... That's not really what we were wanting. Blue's gone way too wide. Liam missed it. We've just... We've got a shot from behind from the Evo 10. That's kept us ahead. <laughs> Lovely timed sound effect from somebody with a grunt birthday party. Uh, that's... Oh, that's unfortunate for Blue Team. They had this one pretty much in the bag with the GTO having crashed into its own team. And... Uh, well, yeah. A ma massive, massive lead. One that I wasn't going to be able to catch. Uh, that was... Yeah. No, <laughs> unfortunate... Unfortunate missed checkpoint, but we saw in that last round. Missed checkpoints can cost you. This is better through the corners than the Evo ahead of us. Problem is, there are too many straights. Problem is, there are just too many straights for me to be able to find a way back. But I think 
I think the issue I'm almost having here is I'm not being brave enough through these corners because I'm just not quite aware of how much grip we're going to have in this. I mean, it is a, a bit more understeery than the one we drove up the needle pass. It's quite a bit more understeery than the one we drove up the needle pass. It simply doesn't have the grip, of course. I would love those race tyres around here. It would be amazing. However, it would have been awful in that previous race and we ended up getting third so you know you're gonna want you're gonna want off-road tires if you're doing a multi-surface thing just because the time lost in the in the off-road section is massive um yeah still like it still a good car still a good car and the good news for us is we are leading the way but it is not by very again it's going to be very very close we can't afford any missed checkpoints from our team here uh, if we could score any more points lower down that would be good I don't think I can catch Nine Tails. This is the final lap, at least. That is something here. Uh, yeah, I've not got the I've not got the speed. If it was a lot tighter a circuit, we'd be all right. As it is, I just yeah, I can't match that car for <laughs> for speed. I mean, I'm trying to be brave on this final lap, and again, we'll close here, and it might even get annoyingly close as we come out of this corner here. Um, again, look how much look how much we reel the gap in through there. We've pulled away from the Evo 10. Uh, however, um, again, it's going to be an acceleration zone. We will be done for. I think we may have, might have made a position somewhere further back. We're now a little bit more comfortable than we were. Uh, however, we can't take victory. It'll be a second and third for red team. I think the Galant got up to fourth, if that's true. Yeah, it did. Nicely done for the Galant. Galant got fourth. The GTO got fifth. Was going very quick. Sketchy. Caused trouble. <laughs> caused a bit of a mess. In the end, blue team have lost on this one. A little bit, I said about Lucky Philly, but it's so easy to overdrive that first corner when you're breaking it down for that. Uh, it's really, really easy to miss that second checkpoint. I've done it a few times. We've seen it done so many times at that track. Uh, a little bit unlucky, as he was clear, and probably had the fastest car there uh, in the end. I couldn't keep up with the 06 uh, Evo. However, we still scored enough points, and that, at the end of the day, is what matters. Well, it is uh, pouring with rain as we head to the uh, Greendale Scramble Circuit. This is an interesting... This is an interesting track because, of course, you have two very long straights. You also have a very, very fiddly off-road section and you have a very nasty hairpin for the cars to worry about. I do fear for my poor... I fear for my poor Evo 6 in terms of the two straights. You might be able to make up... Again, it's... <laughs> It's that typical battle. It's the age-old battle of how do you how do you deal with making up time in certain places. I mean, that's a little bit crappy. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 uh, <laughs> We don't drive like that here. Um, I'm happy to hang you out wide and let as many cars pass as possible. Uh, right, uh, water. Who will have issues there? I mean, probably me, let's face it, if anyone's going to have issues there, it might be me with my race suspension. Realistically, you would never want to put your car on race suspension for this. Um, or tune it for race. You'd want it a little bit higher. Uh, we have seen ground clearance does matter when it comes to fording the rivers. Uh, the things like the trail cat, for example, uh, are considerably better at getting through the water. They are much, much better at getting through the water. Uh, we are going to be on the outside. There isn't much space for that. Oh, Christ, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're through it, just about. We've got the Galant for company now. I think maybe a couple of, uh, lap or so on our own would be nice just to kind of figure out what we can and can't get away with in the Evo 6. Oh, piss off. God damn it. Uh, amazing stuff. Well, I mean, that's torpedoed us to the uh, back of the field. That has torpedoed us to the back of the field. Now, we might still be able to get some point fans. All Evo 6s at the back. Uh, there's Evo 6s all at the back and one at the front. I mean, I don't want Blue Team to win. However, I will, um, you know, be, be happy to see uh, an Evo 6 at least, or at least win. They, they should be good, let's face it here. Uh, we need to... I mean, we really need to get the Eclipse. We need to get the Eclipse and the Galant preferably. And we need as many of us to pass them as we can as well. Like, it can't just be me. We need to drop the hell if the multicolored TVR uh, Evo can come and join us, then that would be that would be wonderful. Uh, GTO, uh, this is this is the area the GTO will, just, it just won't like won't like this at all. I don't know what happened to uh, or maybe Nightingale's Evo isn't great off-road. It seemed to be not very fast at the first circuit. 
We've passed the GTO uh, here, which is something, at least. Points-wise are not looking good for us, but if me and Blakey can work our way up here and get a few more, if we can get the Galant, if we can both get the Galant and the Eclipse, and hell, if we can get the GTO up into this as well, uh, we'll give the... Oh, Galant hit... I don't know if it hit the fence or missed the checkpoint. Uh, <laughs> I think... I think it missed the checkpoint in all of that, judging by the way that it's... Uh, it's spun. Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably a crap. I've missed a checkpoint. Uh, let's go and kind of reset. I've gone for the cutback up the inside of the Eclipse. I think we will probably get that move done. Now, <laughs> we need our... The Eclipse has got a good a good run here. The GTO is going to come... Of course, this is the section the GTO likes now uh, towards this start-finish straight. And if we can get the GTO past, that would be helpful. We're going to need it because Blue have got first and second. Go, GTO. Go, 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 go. Use the speed. I will try and protect you from the cars behind. Hey, purple, purple TVR-ish. That's got a lot of speed. <laughs> Christ. Uh, I'm guessing it's quite heavy then. That's not stopping. Uh, oh, well, he actually did kind of make the corner-ish. Um, made the corner a lot better than I thought it was going to, at least. Can I reel in that GTO oh, in time? Probably not, I'll be honest. Oh, actually, it's our light. <laughs> yep. <laughs> two corners. Oh, two corners, and we are basically there. Uh, probably not the cleverest thing to do, but never mind. Uh, we've got... This is a real... In, uh, the way all of our different cars back here have been built, very, very, very curious uh, what we've got. We've got Evo 6s with handling, with speed... We've got GTO with immense power and immense speed. I mean, we've lost way too much time fighting to compete with the cars further up. I don't know whether I could. I don't... I think the leader, I think Liam's car is too fast for me. I think I can probably fight with the two vehicles up ahead. And this looks like it's going to actually come down to can Stevie beat... Well, can Stevie beat the Eclipse at a speed beast? Can the rest of us... Can anybody else... Can Gliska get ahead of anybody up ahead? That's what we need. Uh, we have got... Oh, we have got Stevie ahead now. That's that's what we did need. Because cars behind me, even if the GTO, which, let's face it, is likely to outdrag me, it won't have time to catch those cars ahead. Plus, hell, the car ahead of us is not an important one. I say not an important one, so to speak. If Django can get past Nine Tails, that would be helpful. Uh, Gliska's moved up a place as well. Oh, th this, is, uh, this is a properly close team adventure. Again, it's all coming down to this final section. Go on the GTO. Don't want to fight that. Whoa! Almost ended up in the back of you unintentionally through there. I probably will get back past you uh, through here. I'm closer and better off this time uh, than we were last. Yeah, the GTO is always going to lift uh, <laughs> through there. Always going to lift. It's always going to have to break earlier than than I am. I mean, we are actually pretty quick around here. Let's have got back up to the front of this race. It's, it's changing a lot. It's a fantastic race going on throughout the field. I mean, we are catching this, this lead group, if you like. Uh, we just can't afford to lose too many places. Basically, we have to have Gliska in... Oh, we have to have Gliska in second or third. He drops to the back of that group, we're in trouble. I mean, the rest of us have done what we needed to. We've got ahead of the cars that we could, pretty much. Um, yeah, there's not much more that we can do here. I pulled clear of that GTO. Uh, <laughs> So there's only the GTO. GTO had all sorts of trouble um, down there. So yeah, this is all on what will the battle, what will this group end up doing pretty much. Oh, no. I think we might have had someone miss a checkpoint. Oh, no, we might lose this by like 50 points. It's so close. It's come down to what will Stevie do in the closing stages. Can he get uh, an, any more positions? Can he get... It needs to get 10th, uh, it looks like. <laughs> It's changed so much. I mean, watching the leaderboard and not really the circuit for us here. Um, because there was little that I could do in all of this one. This has got second. Lock that place in. Can Stevie hopefully hold on to 10th? If he loses that, we will lose the round. We don't know yet what's happened. Come on. Keep the Evo ahead of the glance. We do it. Oh, the Eclipse did score some points in the end there. That was bloody close. Uh, <laughs> That was, that was bloody close. Um, we did it. We got enough. We fought back to sit. And I think my car actually worked there pretty well after the after the terrible start. We got stuck in traffic for a while. It does sometimes happen with these. But we scored enough points. We all scored decent enough points to take the second round. Well, this could be the final round. Could be if we can uh, can get a victory here. It is the Greendale Club Circuit. I 
a fairly short track. While there is a long main straight, we've got some twisty, nasty, fiddly bits around the back part of the circuit, which should work for the Evo 6. The GTO actually started on pole. This might, uh, well, starting on pole for our team, at least on our side of the grid. Uh, that is likely to enjoy. It should get to the lead before we get to turn one here. Uh, that will be off and underway. Uh, <laughs> Ninetales, I get a better launch. We know Ninetales' Evo is faster than mine in the straight, but I do get kind of to 60. I'm a little bit better. Uh, now, this is where we're going to have a little problem, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have... We're going to get, I, f I fear, horrendously stuck in traffic once more. Uh, we can go past the eclipse there. Uh, we'll get a little oh, a little bit of a bloody lag nudge. That's what we wanted. Uh, <laughs> chicken doesn't know where to go. Uh, we will be flat through it. I need to clear that eclipse. I cannot afford to be stuck fighting with that uh, anymore through here. Because if we are stuck fighting with that, these guys... We need to not be having to go side by side through these early corners. Uh, pretty much in a lap. Because that's where I'm going to have to make every bit of my speed through that uh, through that stage. Because we're going to get to here and everything is going to pull away. Now the GTO, if it plays this right, could actually just run away. Which would be nice. It would be good for us if the GTO could just run away at the front of the field. Um, but it is going to get closed in on massively when we get to these twisty sections. Come on, Evo 6. This is where, this is where you need to shine. I know you were very, very good up the mountain pass. Can you be very good on a conventional, conventional racetrack? This is probably the twi twistiest, technicalist, technicalist circuit. You know what I mean? That we have gone to here. I'm all over the back of Nine Tails' car. Yeah, this is the sort of this is the sort of place that the Evo Six is gonna thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. And I need to clear, I need to clear this oh, Evo pretty sharpish if I'm gonna be able to chase down, chase down second. Uh, oh, GTO's in the wall. That's not what we needed to see. Now, he's going to get out of there quick. Oh, well, let's get out onto the straight and then be gone anyway. Uh, can we bring our Evo 10 with us a little bit into this fight? Hopefully. We are currently winning here on Red Team. Ah, <laughs> this is the problem. Ah, oh, I've got a lot of speed, but I'm not sure I'm ever going to really be able to use it. Because I think, oh, big lock-up from somebody. I think that was from the yellow car in second. Possibly. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of speed, and I'm going to get keep getting past on the start-finish line, and then that's going to be yeah, going to be problems here. Uh, where is where is that Evo going to go? Because I want to dive up the inside here, but I'm not close enough to do it. Is another big brake lock from that yellow car, and now we're all starting to bunch up, starting to get a bit busy here. A four-car fight for the lead. This helps the GTO though. If I can get up here. If I can start making a nuisance of myself slightly, start making the uh, second position vehicle have to defend and so on, that would be helpful. That makes the GTO's life much easier. Do I outdrag to the line? That's kind of what matters when it comes to the finish. Yes, we will. Can I lead into turn one here? N not quite, although I might be able to outbreak, so that's kind of what matters. Ninetale has ducked underneath. Oh, it almost worked. Good, very, very good effort trying to make that one stick. But realised wasn't quite going to be far enough alongside. Almost worked. I drove it in. <laughs> Got, just have the grip in the Evo 6. Now, I'm still too far back. But this lap, we finally don't have to fight through this section. So, we can maybe be a little bit braver than we have been previous. Uh, we will close a lot through here. Is it enough, though? Is it enough? Can I sneak up the inside? Yes, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect now. Because what I can do is hold up. That uh, yellow car let the GTO get away. Now, I'm not that fussed about overtaking here. I know I'll get out dragged, but we've stopped that car from getting a run. Oh, go on, GTO. You can do it. It's all on you, pretty much. I mean, we are looking quite good in terms of points elsewhere. Oh, bloody hell, I thought you were too far back to make that one stick. Uh, <laughs> my nine has got a very, very good run out of that corner. We will go to the inside. We'll park it on the apex. Had to make sure. I didn't overdrive that corner. We should be clear now. This has been a fantastic battle between a lot of very, very different cars. Uh, <laughs> oh, Chris is in trouble. That is problems for the GTO. It's going to fight it, though. It's going to fight it. The Evo's got to go to the grass. We will fly our way through there. I've been a little bit too brave, if anything. That has not really actually helped my case. GTO is a little squashed on the inside. They're both going to fight. I'm going to be here, but with no real option. Oh, where to go? I think that might have actually cost us. That might have cost us big time. Oh, the Ninetales fell off the road. 
Ah, uh, I thought, yeah, nine tails actually running wide caused them more problems because they're not going to be able to have anywhere near enough speed to get us. Oh, I thought we were done for because the GTO had to check up because it was going to miss the checkpoint. Parked in front of me, I couldn't get any speed going onto the straight and I was slow anyway, but the car behind fell off the road regardless, pushing, trying to catch up. We couldn't quite get the GTO to a victory, it got second. However, we took a third, a uh, fifth place, a uh, fifth and sixth for two more of our Evos, for our Evos 10s would be enough. Red team will take victory in that round and will take the overall victory in what was a very, very manic, but a uh, very good fun uh, <laughs> final race. Good fun team adventure. The Evo 6, an immense car. An immense car when it comes to the handling department. Uh, this one here, not well enough built for the perhaps for the overall nature of a lot of these circuits that we had to had to deal with. I think uh, I would potentially go for uh, maybe more power over some of the weight reduction or something along those lines. Either way, damn fast car nevertheless. As soon as, it got, as, soon as the going got twisty, it uh, was in incredibly quick, but we got Muller on the straights. That, though, is going to be it for this video. I thank you all very much for watching. If you would like to take part in the next one of these, you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description of this video. Find the Faris versus the community section, and you can sign up in there. That, though, shall be it for today. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.